It's indescribable. It's definitely a milestone in Slovak football, and I'm glad the Slovak team is now among the best. After so many years, we finally made it. The stage is set for Slovakia. Their football team has qualified for just its second major tournament at the 11th time of asking. But having reached the last 16 of the 2010 World Cup, this was no formality for Jan Kozak's men, who were handed a daunting task in qualifying. To be honest, when I saw who the opposing teams were, Spain and Ukraine were the favourites in the group. We need to admit that. Our first win in Ukraine gave us a boost. It was unexpected, but it was a good performance. We played really well and we won. So we went into the home match against Spain full of excitement. That was a match you don't forget and will never forget. A 2-1 victory over the world and European champions is amazing. And it was incredible to score just three minutes from the end. The first team to beat Spain in a qualifier since 2006, Slovakia's perfect start didn't end there. An impressive run of six straight wins would only be halted by the time they came round to face Spain and Ukraine again, as they hit a slight dip in form. Needing a win in their final match against Luxembourg to guarantee their place at the tournament, it was only fitting that their top scorer in qualifying and undoubted star Marek Hamšík would snatch a double to ensure they finish second in their group behind Spain. The feelings were incredible, some of the best in my life, not just in my football career. It was so emotional. Marek is a very important figure for us. He has fantastic skills with the ball. But he does a lot of running too. He's not lazy and he always knows where he needs to be. With a player like that, I can improve as well. We have some good players who play for good foreign clubs. Martin Skirtle, Hamšík, Juraj Kutska, Robert Mack, Vladimir Weiss. They are all experienced players who've played in Europe or in the World Cup in South Africa. I want to use all the best players we have available and I've adjusted our system to that. This won't be Jan Kozak's first taste of a European Championship. He was part of the Czechoslovakia side that came third at the 1980 tournament. Now, 36 years later, he's leading Slovakia to their first Euros as an independent nation. Well, it is the highest honour. I felt that when I was a player, and now I feel it again. It's the peak of my coaching career. He definitely has a huge influence not just as a coach, but all the players he has picked and the team he has created. We all get on well together. When he joined, we not only began to play more effectively, but our game also started to be nicer to watch. He's definitely a big part of the puzzle. The Repre kick off their European dream in Group B and will face Wales and Russia before what could be a defining match against England in St Etienne on match day three. This is an exciting chapter for Slovak football, where history awaits. I think this generation has already achieved something. A lot for a small nation like Slovakia. I trust these guys. The longer they've been together, the better the performance has become. And deep inside, I'm convinced that this is not their last word. They've not reached the limit of their potential yet.